Hello, welcome back to another great video with me. I don't know how to start these videos, oh my god. No, we're just gonna keep that in, I don't even care. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I make myself look a little bit better. Okay, today, all right, so today I'm just gonna show you guys kind of my makeup routine and we're just gonna do a little get ready with me. School starts tomorrow, which is a huge, huge bummer. Summer, because I had it's like five months of summer and it's already like boom gone and all i've done like i feel like i've done nothing all i've done is work which i guess is okay but it kind of sucks too because i don't know it's like a lot of people do fun stuff in the summer and i just work every day which sucks but money so who cares anyways we're just gonna do a little get ready i'm gonna do my makeup with you guys kind of show you what i do it'll be more heavy just because i'm gonna do like a full coverage foundation eyeshadow the whole nine yards kind of like what i would do if i was going to go to work on like a friday night or something just because i'm vibing it today so let's do it all right so one of the first things that i like to do before i start doing my makeup is just kind of give my face another sorry i like never do my makeup in a chair like i'm always standing and i'm on like a swivel chair right now so i'm kind of just like Kind of just wash my face off again just because I've been cleaning all morning and cleaning is like a workout I sweat a lot, so I probably have stuff all over my face And if you can kind of see that so That was pretty dirty so it's good to do that get all that extra dirt off your face before you start piling it with Makeup and then next I just like to put on some face lotion just before I put on heavy foundation because I find Foundation can really suck dry any moisture that you have in your skin So it's kind of nice to hydrate it before I just use this simple stuff. This is from like I don't know a drugstore or something. It's super cheap Face is clean lotion on so now we're gonna start foundation i've already dampened my beauty blender with water i usually just run it under the water completely squeeze it out a couple times and then it's good to go the foundation i'm gonna be using is this estee lauder i think that's so good i don't know this is seriously my favorite foundation i have never loved a foundation so much but it is it's super full coverage so if you're not going for that if you like more of like the natural I'm like sitting on like a white fuzzy thing that I just bought and I thought I got foundation on it but we're good. Actually, you know what? This is what I was talking about. I just bought it but it's like completely white and I don't want to wreck it. So this is it. And I've had this for quite a while so it lasts like a super long time. And a little bit goes a long way so you do not need a lot. Like that was probably a little bit too much. And then I just blend. <laughs> I did want to kind of talk to you guys about a couple things that happened over the weekend. Good and bad. Let's just start with the good. Honestly, the good is just, uh, well, actually, no, 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 no. It's not good. They're both bad, but this one's just funny, whereas the other one's not funny. It's a little bit more sad. So the other day I was shopping for Halloween decorations and stuff. It's the dollar store and I got a whole bunch of stuff, which is super fun. Fall decor and stuff. So I'm kind of getting into that, watching some videos, getting some inspiration. Anyways, I needed to get some spray paint. So I went to Walmart and got some spray paint. I just got like a matte black or something. And then I got gold, like a metallic gold. So yeah, that's all I got. Went to the cash register and it was kind of this lady who was about 50, I'd say. So I just like hand her my stuff she like looks at me and she's like how old are you and i was like 20 and i was like okay like why'd she ask me that and then she's like oh she's like do you want to sign up for this like walmart thing you get like money back i don't know she went on this whole spiel and i'm like money back sure why not like just sign me up she said it took like 30 seconds to do so i'm like sure so she like started to sign me up and she was like i thought you were 16 and i was like And like I usually when people say stuff like that I try to be like lighthearted about it and I'm like you know what like I don't think people realize that that at this point in my life it's kind of not a compliment like I don't want to look like I'm a 16 year old when I'm 20 so it kind of just I don't know like I guess it could be a compliment to a lot of people but for me I've just been told I look really young all my life so it kind of sucks but I just like I made a joke out of it and I was like oh like haha ha, ha. like I like the braces make me look a lot younger she literally she looks at me and she's like Oh no, it's your face. I literally, I didn't even reply. I, I didn't, I did not know what to say. I was like, seriously? Like, thanks? I feel like she thought she was complimenting me. Like, oh, it made me so... 
it made me so mad but I just like stopped and I was like hmm okay I mean girl <laughs> wow but that's the good thing not really good but like that's just like one of the things that happened to me this weekend and I was like you know what like whatever I'm used to it by this point everyone thinks I'm like 12 and then I usually just go in with some NARS concealer. I absolutely love this stuff. I used to get the NARS creamy concealer. It came in like that little spoolie, not spoolie, whatever it's called, those, those stick things. But this one's in like a little pot, which is nice. I kind of like that. I find it lasts a lot longer, which is bomb, especially when you're paying like 30, 40 bucks for a concealer and it lasts like a month. Not down for that. So usually what I do is I just grab a bit, just put it underneath. All right, once that's all on, then I go in with my beauty blender again and I just blend. Ow! All right, now that the concealer is on, the next thing that I like to do is, I have this contour kit from Anastasia, the shade, the light to medium one. So usually what I do with this is I just kind of like to take one of, one of my Real Techniques brushes and I just kind of go in with this one and this one I just like to pat a bit and then just kind of like pat some of that under my eye kind of where we put the concealer. The next we are on to contouring. Now contouring is something that I, I said that's so weird. Contouring is something that I'm not super great at. So I kind of just wing it half the time. Sometimes it looks good. Sometimes it looks interesting. So because it's just, I'm not going to work today. I'm kind of just bombing around town. I'm probably just going to do some lighter contour. So I'm going to go in with this shade here. It's a lot lighter than these two. So I usually just take a little bit on the brush and then I just, you know, contour. I know it looks crazy in the camera, but I promise it'll look good. And then just make sure that you really get up in here because you don't want it to be like, you know, a weird gap in here. And then I usually put some on my forehead just to kind of make my forehead look smaller because my forehead is literally massive. What we do here is go back. back, back, back. Okay, my hair is in my face. In here a bit. Kind of just like drag it all down your face, but really keep it close to your hairline and super light. Like you don't want to be putting it dark kind of up here. And then I think just like the biggest key with contouring is just blending. Like you need to blend forever. And then I usually just go in with my beauty blender again and kind of just buff that out a bit. And then I like to do my nose as well. My nose contour is not, it's just, it's not good. So maybe don't follow this step if you're, yeah, just this, yeah. This is not how you do it, but that's okay. We're just gonna darken it up a bit, that's okay. Going with, again, the light one. And I just kind of do like the sides of my nose just to kind of make it a little bit more like pinched in together. Because we love small pinched noses, right? Butter bronzer. Oh my god, it smells so good. Next step that I like to do is I like to put on some setting powder just like under my eyes here and here, just kind of like set everything in. I just put some on my damp beauty blender and just pat it in under my eyes. And then yeah, kind of how I did the con or the contour on my nose, I just have to go in with the setting powder and it kind of evens it out a bit. And so now I look crazy. All right, let's move on to eyeshadow. I'm not like a makeup artist at all, so I probably do so many things wrong, but this is just how I do my makeup and it's worked for me. Blending and stuff is probably a disaster, but we're just gonna roll with it. The first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. I usually just put this all over my lid. It kind of like adds like a sheer look to my eyes, which is nice. <laughs> I don't know if you can see because I can't open one eye and leave the other one closed because I'm dumb. It just kind of gives like a shiny look on the lid. Okay, 
another mac product i get so many compliments on this when i work you will go into the pink first and i usually just throw that kind of all over my lid again so it's kind of like the first eye i'm going to do the same thing with the other eye Okay, now both eyes are basically done for the pink. Now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this gold here, this is from Estee Lauder as well, and I'm just gonna take this flat little brush, and I'm just gonna kind of pat that along here a bit, just to give some gold sparkle. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, that kind of just gave a little bit more dimension to it a little bit, I guess, before. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, honestly. Then yeah, I'm gonna go back and blend that out. So I'm just gonna take that pink again and just kind of go underneath. Okay, my camera's about to die, so I think I'm just gonna go plug it in real quick. No momento. <laughs> All right, I'm back. My camera is still basically dead, but I just wanna get this video filmed. Thing now, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. I'm gonna do one on camera and then the other off camera, just so I can turn off my camera in between. I use the Anastasia Dip Brow. I feel like everyone does, honestly, it's so good. I actually use the top of the lid, that's why it's all gross, just to kind of wipe off the excess, and then I go in and do my brows. in the camera oh my goodness it's so difficult one eyebrow basically done i usually just kind of like to brush it through it looks crazy in this lens what whoa it looks so bad it does not look this bad in person i swear to god and then i go in with my concealer again and i just kind of wipe off where i went crazy with it One eyebrow done, I'm gonna go off camera and do the other one. All right, now both eyebrows are done. I look crazy because I don't have mascara on. Don't worry, we will get there. But now I'm just wiping off the setting powder that we put on a little bit ago. The last few steps. This is probably my favorite. This is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Kitten Karma. Usually, so it comes on like an applicator like this. Um, but usually what I like to do is I just like to use another little flat brush and I just kind of dip onto there and I just grab a little bit and I just put this on the inside. I'm going to try and do this in the viewfinder. I put this on like the inside of my eye and then I kind of work my way up. I'm just going to close my eyes and hopefully I feel like you can't really mess up glitter so we'll see how this turns out. But yeah, that's it. It's beautiful. Honestly, I love, 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 love this stuff. And I got this at Shoppers Drug Mart, I think for $30, but I've had it for so long, it lasts forever and ever, so. And then I like to take a little bit on the tip of that brush and just kind of put it under my eyes as well. Now I'm gonna give that a second to dry and I'm gonna move on to mascara. Usually, okay, I used to never use a primer. Like I thought primer was just stupid, it was a waste of money, but recently I started using this. Now I don't know what it is because the label is off. It from, I think, Shoppers for super cheap. I use the primer, I don't use the mascara from here just because I don't really love the mascara. So what I do is I just prime my eyelids with, not my eyelids, Jesus. Prime my eyes lashes and then for mascara I use my cover girl clump crusher mascara yeah I've been using this since grade 9 have not found anything better than I would not want anything else all right now both eyes are done the mascara is on and last but not least my favorite part Highlighter thing we put on my eyes. I use that as my highlighter too on my face because save that money. Here, and then I like to put some on my nose. Nose highlight is my favorite, honestly. Then I put some on my cupid's brow and my brow bone. Just kind of the corners of my eyes a little bit. 
Um, and then on my nose, I just like to put like a line down the middle of my nose. Mm. Lastly, I like to spray my face. Lately I've, been gen Lately, I've been just using this NYX dewy finish spray. I don't know. It does the job. It's cheap. Whatever. I should probably get a better one like Urban Decay or something, but you yeah, know. And this is the makeup look all complete. Um, it's just kind of something that I like to do before work. Just It's super simple. It doesn't take too, too long, which is nice. Um, I really love the eyes. I just felt so disrespected. I literally went to the back and I just sat on a stool, put my head down, and I basically started crying.